Hey, Crystal. Yeah? Do you know why the chicken crossed the street? Why? To get to Bing House. <gasps> oh my god. But have you been to Bing House before? I don't think so. I think maybe once or twice. Yeah. Okay, it's owned by restaurant owner Nancy. She's yeah. like a third generation restaurant owner. It's a Korean American inspired coffee house with a lot of desserts, rolled ice cream, Ooh, boba, coffee, of course. Nice. Ooh, okay, let's go then. Yeah, let's go. Ooh. Being house. My name is Nancy Chi. I am the business owner of this place. I've been running this shop for around six to seven years now. Yeah, I'm third generation business owner of Convoy. This is kind of my little dream come true since I was a kid. I've always wanted to own my own like coffee shop as a kid. My senior project was on like how to open a coffee shop. I grew up on the street and I feel like it lacked a lot of dessert shops and coffee shops. So. I always dreamed of creating something that I love and something that a place where like my friends and I would be able to hang out and drink coffee or boba and dessert in the same place. So that's kind of how it came to be. How did you think about this decor of like the entire ambience of this cafe? Honestly, through my travels, the tiles are like very East Coast, like New York. A lot of the warmer feeling, like the wood and the green, like I love just the earth and like growing out and being in nature. So I think those tones I wanted to bring to Convoy, a place where people could come and feel comfortable where they don't feel like they have to like you know dress properly or whatever like I wanted to make it fun but a little bit more different than the coffee shops or like boba shops that were offered in Convoy then. Can you talk about like the expansion of your menu or like what you started out with and how you got to now? I think we originally started with shaved ice, rolled ice cream and then coffee. So we didn't have boba, we didn't have mochi donuts but I always want to introduce things to Convoy or like even to San Diego that aren't as popular. Even mochi donut, I think we launched it like two years ago and then when we first launched it, I don't think there was a shop that actually did mochi donuts and now there's like mochi donut places everywhere. And then with boba, I feel like we introduced that to our menu just because like the boba scene also has get, been getting really, really popular. So people do come in here knowing that it's like an Asian American run uh, business. So they do ask for things and then when we hear it kind of enough, like we're like, okay, we should consider that. And then we kind of like bring it into our menu. For a first time customer, what should they try? I always say try our coffee. I think a lot of people come in thinking like automatically do their shot, but we have a lot of unique like coffee drinks as well. Like our Thai tiger latte, which has like Thai tea cold brew. We have our earth latte, which we do matcha and espresso. Even our take on the Vietnamese latte, we call it the Vietnamese. So we have a lot of unique like Asian coffee drinks, but also the classics if you want that too. I usually recommend like rolled ice cream. Obviously like everybody loves the ice cream. So, and I think ours is pretty unique because we do make all our bases in house. So uh, we don't add any preservatives. Like our base will go bad after like two days because it's so fresh. And then we have our shaved ice too, which is like really fun to eat and like perfect for summer. So we also have a rotating menu for mochi donuts every month. We have, I think, six classic flavors that we have all the time. I love black sesame, so the, I'm kind of biased with that. And the ube has been really good too. So I would say those three are like my main go-to favorites. And then this month, I really like the animal crackers really good. And the I think the Milo, that one is pretty good too. You have your nutritious breakfast. You have fruit, you have milk, and you have cereal. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So you have the, all the components of a healthy <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> Yeah. That's so sweet. <laughs> I love the fruit pebbles. No, yeah. I really like the flavor combo. Me like too. I didn't expect it to like mesh so well, and also the watermelon's really sweet. <laughs> the watermelon's really sweet, and like the bingsu itself is like very smooth and like very creamy. It's definitely very different from like American like uh, shaved ice because I think oftentimes whenever we have American shaved ice, it's a lot more water based, mm -hmm. but this is more like milk based. Having the fruity pebbles on top of the watermelon reminds me of like, you know, I don't know if your mom ever taught you this, but like, you know when you take strawberries and then you dip them in sugar so they're sweeter? This is what it's like. <laughs> You're making me have childhood flashbacks. It's a lot more fuller in flavor. If you get what I mean, and it's not extremely sweet. Your Don't mom, what your mom says, not too sweet. <laughs> not too sweet, just a little bit of sweet, you know. Sheesh, that's a lot of mochi donuts for two people to eat. Nancy recommended her favorites are like black sesame, churro, 
She said Milo that as well. Milo, and yeah. then for the monthlies it's Milo, and then the animal cracker. So, uh, so should we try those first then? Yeah, but yeah. best question is, which one? Okay, let's let's start with black sesame. I okay. think that's a good, like, you know, base flavor to try. Base flavor that's not too sweet. Yeah, you can just kind of rip it apart. You can try, like, a little bit of each flavor. Mm. Oh, it really captures the essence of black sesame really well because black sesame is very, like, nutty. It has kind of, like, that smooth, kind of nutty flavor. You know, also being, like, Chinese, Vietnamese, American, that's kind of, like, one of the kind of natural, more tasting desserts we would have. So it's also kind of like, oh, I'm being thrown back into my childhood right now. Yeah. And also, even though this is a donut, because it has black sesame on it, I somehow feel that it's healthier. Yeah, right? Even though it's still fried. I know that I'm just tricking myself, but that's how I feel about it. And it makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Small joys. Oh, let's go for the animal yeah, cracker. The berry. I think a lot of this is just so nostalgic. Like, the flavors mm -hmm. are nostalgic. Kind of the visuals of like having an animal cracker or fruity pebbles on your mm -hmm. like on your desserts. This kind of brings you back to your childhood. Exactly. A lot of this is very like childhood type of like food. I believe in you. Thank you. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Okay, but are we supposed to mix it? as uh, okay. Honestly, oh. I'm not a coffee person, but I love getting Thai tea. I got and you. I really appreciate having a little bit of coffee in it because then I'm like, oh, caffeine. Yes. Yeah. Wakes me up. Fine. Also, like you know how you like you can drink the different layers. Yeah, that's so why I like, like so much too. The coffee's like really bitter, but then when you drink the bottom, I feel like it balances out really well. It's like not yeah, too sweet. It's a lot more tame. It's a lot more like I guess, like not as extremely sweet as like for example the mochi donuts or like the bingsu. It's a lot. I don't know. It's like almost like that natural flavor. But I think this mixture of like the matcha and the coffee actually tastes really good. I think yeah. I agree with her though that once you mix it, it does become a little bit light. Yeah, it does. It doesn't look the best. But, but it's like, but you know what? It's earthy. Yeah, it's very earthy. Let's share another one. Okay. Milo. So what exactly is Milo? I remember trying it before. It's kind of similar to Ovaltine. I don't know about Milo, but I do remember Ovaltine kind of made from like malt. So it kind of has that like taste of like similar to chocolate. You know mm. what I mean? Okay. But this is a lot more mild in flavor. Yeah. But check out all night. Like, ooh. Thank you. Thank you. This black is black sesame. sesame. <laughs> yeah. This time we got it right. <laughs> Second yeah. time's a charm. Yeah. What is, is this mochi? Honey? These honey and mochi as well. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know where to begin. I did I not expect that. I've never had black sesame ice cream before. I feel like it's incorporated in a lot of other desserts. Initial sweetness and creaminess, and then at the very end, you kind of get that hit of black sesame. It's like, like the strongest flavor. It's so weird because I always mm -hmm. expect black sesame to come with a little bit of a grainy feeling. But oh it's yeah. So, creamy. Not so I'm like, you. my my taste buds are like confused. Look, you're trying to be like, what is this? And then it's also the honey too. Yeah, I'm like, the honey oh. is really good. And then the mochi texture is so bouncy. The thing I like about this is that it has so many different textures, like the mochi, and like also somehow the ice cream is chewy. Even though it's ice cream, I feel I still get the feeling of like I'm eating black sesame something. It has like layers and texture, unlike yeah. I guess what you'd get from a normal soft serve or like something yeah. that you get out of a carton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think with like a soft serve, it's like pretty like consistent in, in like texture and like it's very smooth and silky and like. This is kind of like that mixture of like, oh, this is very creamy. Taboy is changing every day. Five years ago, you wouldn't see people walking across Taboy or Claremont, but now you see a lot of people park, get food like in one plaza, and then go to the next plaza to get dessert and stuff. So I think we have changed with that in the sense that like we try to see what kind of people are coming to Convoy and like what people are looking for. I think when people come to Bing House and like they come here three, four years ago for college, they come back and they're like, oh, it still feels the same nostalgic feeling when they enter here. This is a very good dessert. I like it a lot. <laughs> Not too sweet. <laughs> So that was a really great visit yeah. to Bing House. My first time here and it was amazing. The desserts are really fresh, really nice, really sweet, and they're also not too sweet. Yeah, it's just the perfect amount of sweetness. It's kind of like, you know, as your parents say, oh, not too sweet, just, just a little bit of sweet, right? Yeah. Yeah, what were your favorites though? I think my favorite had to be probably the ube or the black sesame mochi donut. I mm. love mochi donuts because you can just like tear them apart, share them with friends, but also you can eat like 20 on your own. Yeah, for sure. And also just the, the part where you can share with your friends, you have just a tiny bite of one flavor. Like it was just really nice to try different flavors but not feel like you're too full, right? I think for me it was definitely like the watermelon bingsu mm -hmm. just because like it's so fun to just kind of eat it with
with a friend and like you know kind of take it apart. It's like kind of almost like you were saying, I think a Jenga puzzle. So it was like very fun, a little messy, but it was really enjoyable. And I think like the watermelon was just so like naturally sweet and just kind of just shows how like fresh like their ingredients are and like just you know experiencing what Bingsu is like at this place is like really cool again too. Closing remarks. That was a great visit. And if you guys are ever in Convoy area, come to Bing House. Yeah, check it out. All right, and this is Via. This is Crystal. And check us out on our next episode of Community Eats.